A 13-year-old Irving girl is recovering tonight after an overdose of K2 landed her in the emergency room. Police are now investigating how the teenager got her hands on synthetic marijuana. Fox 4's Zahid Arab is here. He has more on what appears to be a growing problems ahead. Yeah, Rich, you know, it's gotten so bad. A Parkland ER doctor tells me every day she worked last week, every day she treated with someone from symptoms from K2. And the patients are a lot younger than most would expect. In the latest case, police tell us a family member found the 13-year-old girl twitching outside their Irving apartment around 10 last night. The girl told them she used K2. Police tell us the teen was taken to Children's Medical Center, but we don't know her condition. Irving detectives are now looking into how the girl got the K2 and whether there will be any charges. You know, when Dr. Stacy Hale, the North Texas Poison Center, heard about the incident, she wasn't surprised. It is a lot more common right now in North Texas, mainly because people are trying to find another way to get high. They think that because it's a synthetic marijuana, that it's just like other marijuana. But it's not. Synthetic marijuana, or K2, is made in a lab. Side effects include making people agitated, having threatening behavior, or hallucinations. Now, while the Poison Center is treating patients all the way up to their 40s and 50s, doctors say it's a lot more dangerous for teens, potentially leading to heart attacks. And don't forget, it was just last month when Dallas hospitals dealt with almost 40 cases of K2 overdoses in a span of just 24 hours. Doctors think more people are using it because the synthetic chemicals used in K2 often don't show up in drug tests, so users don't think they're going to be caught. Rich? Thank you, Zahid. Just last week, federal agents seized millions in cash and property in North Texas as part of a crackdown on synthetic marijuana. They raided more than a dozen locations, including gas pipe smoke shops. The Drug Enforcement Administration saying that gas pipe was a source of synthetic marijuana. The government seized 11 gas pipe stores, four homes, two other properties, and the historic Ridgely Theater in Fort Worth. Jerry Schultz, the uh, owner of that gas pipe, owns the theater as well. Schultz has not been charged with anything. Investigators say Lawrence Shawan was the leader of the drug trafficking ring, and he was arrested in February on federal drug charges.